In this video, I'm gonna be talking about a potential complication you guys may see in some of your patients and it's screw pain um, or pain caused by the screw from the surgery. And uh, it, it's important again to recognize some of these symptoms because if it is actual um, pain caused by the screw and is inhibiting them from making progress, um, getting it resolved quickly can really help to kind of speed up the process, the recovery process, and just keep the ball rolling as far as the recovery goes. The recovery process is long enough already and us having an understanding of these complications can really help to, again, just keeping them relatively on pace uh, if it is uh, screw pain in this situation in this video. Um, I'm going to be looking at some of the numbers, uh, looking at a study, um, but as far as a screw, screw, uh, screw pain goes, usually it's actually pretty easy to figure out if it is. Usually they'll have pain with kind of loading, maybe plyometrics, jumping and landing, things like that. Or, or maybe even running. And usually they'll, they'll have pain along that kind of proximal um, medial portion of the, of the tibia. Um, usually, again, if you think about where the screw would go, it's usually right around in that spot. And you kind of palp, and it's gonna be pretty tender on most people, but if you kind of palpate in that area and they're like, wow, that was really, really sharp pain, um, that could be an indication of it. But I would say mostly it's based on the symptoms of, of decreased activity tolerance um, and there's usually localized pain in that one spot. You know, it's not generalized, it's pretty consistent. They're always pointing to the same spot over and over and over again. Um, that, that is a pretty good indication that it could be screw pain and usually is pretty sharp levels of pain. Um, so there is a study done by uh, Kramer et al. And they, what they found that it actually influences less than 5% of people. So it is very, very rare. Um, they, they looked at a study of mostly adolescents, so people between 10 to 18 years old. They looked at 945 ACL reconstructions. What they found is that 89, 89 patients, or 9.6% of people, um, actually developed screw problems. And out of those 89, 45 of them, or about 5% of people, actually had to get the screw surgically removed. Um, so again, the, the incident rate is very, very low. Um, you know, you're looking at, again, their, act, their low tolerance is usually a pretty good indication about what it is. Um, so, and if you try to, again, let's say you really pull back on the load that you're doing, you, you tell them to take a break from running, um, you really don't do any aggressive plyometrics, and you're kind of really cautious of the, of the uh, loading in regards to strength training that you're doing, and the pain doesn't change for, you know, three, two, three weeks at uh, time, then it might be worth it for you to um, send them out to get some, some imaging done and send them out to the ortho and just get their thoughts on it and obviously let the ortho know what you're seeing. Um, because if you're seeing all these things consistently and nothing is really changing, again, we wanna make sure that we are doing right by the patient. And if you're identifying, you're like, wow, I really think it's a screw pain and all that kind of stuff. And then you, you send them out and they, they find that it is a screw and they get it removed. Usually they get almost immediate relief right away. Um, and they'll, they'll be able to do all these things right. Uh, they'll be able to do all the things that they weren't able to do without pain. Obviously we're talking about again, running, jumping, lifting, those type of things, because they should be able to do those things without pain. Um, I've seen a couple of them in my, in my, in my lifetime as, as a PT and seeing ACLs, um, again, so it's not super, super common. And just to review again, you're looking for kind of that proximal medial, uh, tibia pain. Uh, really tender to palpation and really affected by uh, the type of load that they're doing. Um, so uh, hopefully you guys found Thank you for watching today's video. Please feel free to like and subscribe and share it on your social media platforms. If you're interested, I have started an ACL Mastermind Group, which is a growing library of content centered around ACL rehab. It has exercises ranging from immediate post-op to late stage sports specific movements and everything in between. Is a growing library and currently holds over 250 videos. There's content centered around assessments, movement breakdowns, exercise breakdowns, case studies, and a whole lot more. You also gain access to a private forum where you can engage with like-minded people, ask questions, share research articles, and share resources. If you're interested, please feel free to click the link below. Thank you for watching.